Hey what's up guys this is Jolin here and today I'm back again with yet another video and this time let's review the iLive Platinum wireless Bluetooth earphones. These are Amazon Alexa enabled earphones which means you can command Alexa directly through the earphones to do some simple tasks and it will be done. So are these wireless Bluetooth earphones any better? Let's find out. Now opening up the box, we have the user manual first on the top. Then we have the hard carrying case which looks quite premium. In the case, we have the micro USB charging cable and some extra ear tips. And then finally we have the earphones itself in black color. These are available on different websites and I will leave the link in the description area if you guys want to check it out. Now to give you a physical overview. These earphones are given a sporty kind of look so we get ear hooks on both the earbuds which looks to be made out of good quality plastics. Then we have the tangle free flat cable to which is attached the controller which has the plus and minus buttons, the power on of buttons, the LED indicator and on the side we have the micro USB charging port. Then on the other side we have the battery and the dedicated Amazon Alexa button and a microphone. Coming to the build quality, they are made out of good quality plastic and the build quality looks to be great. The ear tips are made out of good plastic and has got no magnetic lock to attach them when not in use. The earphones fit well into the ears and they remain that way for most of the time as the ear hooks keep them in place. I didn't face any discomfort even after using them for a while. The flat cable on the other hand looks of, looks of a good quality and is tangle free as well which is nice. These are also sweat proof uh, so you can use them for your sports activities. As for the Bluetooth range, I managed to walk around 8 to 9 meters from where my phone was placed before the music started stuttering. As these earphones have a microphone, you can use them for calling but the call quality was very average and sometimes the other person complained of muffled voice from my end. As for the music playtime, I managed to get around 3 to 4 hours of continuous music playback which is quite less in my opinion for such kind of earphones. And I managed to charge this earphone from 0 to 100% in approximately 1.5 hours. Connecting the earphones to the smartphone was fairly simple. Simply pressing the power button for few seconds turns it on. The blue and red blinking LED indicates that the earphones are ready to pair and can be paired with your smartphone. The earphones can also be paired by using the iLeave Smart Bluetooth app. The steps to this are mentioned on the user manual. Pressing the multi-functional button once will play or pause the track. Also this button can be used to receive or reject calls and long pressing the plus button skips to the next track while long pressing the minus button skips to the previous track. If you want to use Amazon Alexa directly by the dedicated button on the earphones, you will have to download the Alexa app by scanning the, scanning the QR code mentioned on the user manual. Then you need to link your Amazon account and you're good to go. Now coming to the sound quality. The iLive Bluetooth earphone sounds average in my opinion Although the company claims to have fitted the earphones with 10mm drivers, but they get fairly loud. The bass is okay, but the punch was lacking. If you are a bass lover, then this might get you disappointed though. The highs, mids and lows on the other hand were good and the instrument separation was decent. The vocals on the other hand were very crisp and clear and I didn't notice any sound distortion even at higher volume. I would rate it 6 on 10 purely on music basis and 8.5 out on 10 for the build quality. Finally as for my verdict, the iLeaf Bluetooth wireless earphones are fine in terms of build quality but they kinda disappoint when it comes to the sound quality and battery life. If bass is not a priority for you and for casual music, music listening, they should get the work done. As for a hardcore music lover, I wouldn't recommend these at all. There are many other Bluetooth earphones in this price range and much lesser in the market which sound much better than these. So guys that's it for the video and I really hope you liked it. 
If you all did, then kindly hit the thumbs up button and if you all didn't, you all can vote it down. Do subscribe to me if you all haven't and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video goes live. So until next time, you guys take care. Ciao.